Hey, welcome back to Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branshaw, and this is episode three in the series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the tilde character. The tilde character is primarily used to alter the casing of characters. The one I find myself using a lot is the normal mode variant, where I navigate my cursor over a particular character, usually the first in a word, to either capitalize or downcase it. Another common one is to make a visual selection and hit tilde, which will flip everything, flipping uppercase characters to be lowercase and lowercase characters to be uppercase. A bit of an odd one that I haven't used in the wild is G tilde tilde, which will flip the casing of everything on the current line. You can also check out the help files with colon help tilde to see some other variations and other ways of altering the casing of characters in your files. The next two use cases for tilde are quite rare. You may never use them, but they give us a peek at some features that we'll cover more in upcoming episodes. Here, tilde can serve as a path modifier. Though we'll cover the percent symbol in more depth later, we can see that tilde will alter the path, making it relative to our home directory. Or at least it's supposed to. This seems to be my root directory, which makes me wonder if I have a plugin interfering with its behavior. To be sure, we can check colon help colon colon tilde to see what the help files at least say it is supposed to do. And our final use case for tilde is as part of a substitute command. Here, tilde represents the substituted string or pattern from the previous substitute command. Let's see it in action. Say I'm going along replacing instances of taco with burrito. There we go, that worked. Now I want to make another substitution, replacing instances of quesadilla with that same word burrito. I can use the tilde character in its stead, and it will remember that I used burrito previously. This is quite the contrived scenario, perhaps with more complex substitutions or recorded macros it comes in handy. For some even more obscure stuff, check out colon help tilde tab and do some help file diving. That's it for this one. In the next episode, we'll be looking at the backtick character.